Reagan's White House, and he joins me now. You smiled at that, <laughs> because it's true, correct? There's always chaos. Yeah, let's start with the very basic question. What does the Chief of Staff do? Chief of Staff, remember, is staff, not chief. Right. He's not elected, the president is. His job is to make sure that everything is fully staffed before it gets to the Oval Office. No decision is an easy decision if it gets to the president. The chief of staff's the last person. The Hillary ad from eight years ago, who do you want to answer the phone at 3 o'clock in the morning? The funny joke is, it's not the president. It's the chief of chief staff. Of staff. Yeah. You're usually the last person other than his spouse that he sees at night and the first person he sees in the morning. Is the chief of staff he or she the security guard? Because Rah Rahm Emanuel, you know, sort of was a heavy, heavy hand when he was... Oh, you're supposed to be making sure that everybody is on the president's agenda mm -hmm. and not their own agenda. Mm -hmm. But what you're really working about, what we're focused on, is making sure that every option is staffed mm -hmm. and everybody's seen around corners mm -hmm. and everybody adheres to the president's practice. Do you think Gramps Priebus is, a, is the best person to do that? Yes. Yes. And, and the simple reason is that he's great in relationships building. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a lot of confidence in him. He's trusted. And he is somebody who can bring consensus, not simply the West Wing, but on Capitol Hill and elsewhere. So as someone who's new to government, what, is a, what kind of chief of staff does Donald Trump need? Number one, he needs somebody he has total confidence in. Rice Priebus is that person. He needs somebody who's going to be a reality therapist. Somebody, everybody walks into an Oval Office, Don, and tells the president what they think the president wants to know. Your job as chief of staff is to tell him what he needs to know. Reince clearly has done that during the primaries and the general election. But he's also going to he's going to have Reince Priebus, but he's also going to have Steve Bannon, who will sort of be a a co chief of staff or chief advisor. And he said they'll have equal roles. They'll have a sort of Don, it's the same way as Valerie Jarrett has with Dennis McDonough, or she had with Rahm Emanuel. Paul Rove had with Andy Card, mm -hmm. and we had, in the beginning of Reagan, the so-called triumvirate mm -hmm. of Meese, Beaver, and Jim Baker as chief My of gosh, staff. gosh, you're bringing back the old And it days. worked, yeah. because you're getting everybody together. Is it going to work with these, these two individuals, especially given um, Steve Bannon's resume, shall we say, or history, or as someone who is, you know, um, sort of on the alt-right side? My answer is that it can work, but the chief of staff has to be primary. And what Steve Bannon's role is, I think, mm -hmm. is to reassure those people in the Trump coalition who are the true believers that gives President-elect Trump the opportunity to make some compromises and to make some deals and win things for America without his base going off the deep end. And so you think Steve Bannon is there for the base? I think he is there very much to give the president-elect, and then it's about to be the president, the flexibility to put together some compromises and some deals, because things don't happen overnight. So it doesn't, you know, because there's a lot of hand-wringing and pearl-clutching about right. Steve Bannon. My gosh, how can he appoint someone like that? In my Does answer, that give you pause? Of course, if the personal stories are accurate, you got to figure that out. It's the way to clear the deck on those. But being in government compared to being in a campaign are far different. When you're in government, every word you say, every belief you have, has to be for the American people. So, so the question is, is whether someone like a Steve Bannon is worthy of the Oval Office. He's not in the Oval Office. He is worthy as the president as Lee Atwater was in Bush 41, as Carl Rove was for 43, as Valerie Jarrett was. Now, I'm not talking about their personal beliefs. What I'm talking about is their ability to help the president govern. And that's what Steve Bannon has to be about. But Reince Priebus is primary as the chief of staff who makes everything flow. He is the control mechanism, yeah. as every other chief of staff has been. Thank you, Mr. Duberstein. Thank a you. Pleasure. Thank you. Up next.